There are a few things you need to know about the nature of fire. First, fire is very fast. Flames can become out of control and homes can fill with smoke very quickly. It's critical that people are out of their house within two to four minutes when this fire starts. Don't grab things, just get out. Second, fire is very hot. Fires can bring room temperatures to 100 degrees at floor level and rise to 600 degrees at eye level. The heat alone can kill somebody. Fire is also dark. It may start out bright, but it produces black smoke and then complete darkness. Escaping from a smoke-filled home can be difficult, especially when awaking from a deep sleep. You can't see anything. You can't see your hand in front of your face. So if you can imagine your senses are hearing and touch and feeling where the heat's coming from to direct you to where the fire's actually at. But the firefighters most of the time are going in with complete obstruction. Because of this, firefighters are trained to work in zero visibility when they enter a burning home. Finally, fires are deadly more than we realize. They burn away oxygen and produce deadly smoke and poisonous gases. These fumes can make you drowsy, disoriented, and short of breath. Now we build energy efficient homes. We have polyurethanes and lots of plastics. Those things have very toxic gases in them. They burn very rapidly. The house itself contains that and it just makes us have to get out of the house even quicker. The gases that are burning with these plastics and polyurethane are very deadly. Just a couple of breaths of it will put you unconscious and put you to sleep. That's why an EDITH plan is essential. EDITH stands for Exit Drills in the Home. Okay, we're here today at the Children's Safety Village here in Edmond, and with me is Mike Fitzgerald. Mike and Addison, she's going to help us out a little bit this afternoon. Uh, tell me, first off, what, what's your position here? What do you do? Uh, I'm a fire prevention specialist, and I also teach public education. And today we're down here at the Children's Safety Village. This is one of our classrooms. Okay. And we're teaching fire safety. Okay, so what are we learning today? Let, let's do a, a well, quick run through. What we got right here is this is one of our special crawl low tubes. Okay. Uh, Addison right here is gonna demonstrate crawling low for us, and she's gonna do it quickly. We're gonna crawl low underneath the smoke. Okay. We wanna make sure that we stay, go ahead, Addison. We wanna make sure that we stay low underneath the hot smoke heat and gases. Okay, makes sense to stay Down low for that reason. Down there where the reason. cool air is. Gotcha, gotcha. We teach okay. kids, uh, this is gonna go to her, her first exit. You know, we want two ways out of every room. Okay. This is her first way out right here. It's gonna be the door. She's feeling it with the back of her hand. In case it is to be hot, you're to feel it with the front part or the palm of your hand. If it was too hot, it'd burn you, and then you wouldn't be able to pick it up or use oh, okay. anything or do anything like that. So we're gonna say, Wouldn't have thought we're gonna of say that. that the door is hot. Or the door is hot. So in that case, we would not open it. We would want to come back over here to our second way out. And in okay. this room right here, our second way out is going to be the window. Still staying low. Still staying low. Aston will crawl over here to the window. Now, this is something that's important. We do have to use the window as practicing it in your plan. Okay. That we practice opening the window. Make sure that the kids can actually open up the window. Okay. Sometimes they're stiff or hard or haven't been opened in some time. Very good job. And then we'll crawl out the window here. Make sure that we go to our meeting place once we get outside. And as always, never ever come back inside the house. Uh, that's what the firefighter's job is. If you leave anything inside, we'll get it as well as salvage and, and, and taking care of what's inside here. Now, let me ask you one question. We walked through uh, the very first point that she wanted to go to the front door to make sure that the front door uh, was or was not accessible. It wasn't, so then she went to a window. Uh, what do you do just in case you're on the second floor? Well, that's, that's a, a problem. That, that is a problem. It's, it's a lot bigger step than the, uh, yeah, than the first floor is. But, you know, the biggest thing we want to remember is that we have a, a plan in place, that we have smoke alarms, that we've checked our smoke alarms, we've changed the batteries in them, mm -hmm. and that we have a smoke alarm on every floor, outside every sleeping area, inside every sleeping area, and that they're connected to where if one goes off, they all go off. Okay. Uh, that gives us early notification, early warning, so that we can use the conventional way out, which would be down the staircase and out the front door. Okay. That would be the best case scenario. If that's not able to happen, mm -hmm. potentially have an escape ladder, but uh, with that, now we're talking about the age of kids and, and, and how safe that is for them, if that's even going to be feasible. Right. If it's not, let's make sure that the bedroom doors are closed. We cover them up real well. We go to the window, put a sheet out there 
to where it can wave and firefighters can see that. That's going to be here. the signal to you. Somebody's in that room. Absolutely. Our average response time, roughly about four minutes, four and a half minutes to get there. Guys are going to get there quick. They're going to notice that. They're going to be ladder in the building as uh, quickly as possible and get those people out of so there. So really, really the take home message, the number one message here is uh, for every, every home and every family to be prepared. Have a plan before anything goes wrong. That's the best case scenario. Have a plan and practice that plan. It's a lot of fun. The kids really get involved. You know, we come home, have a good family night. We make a, our home escape plan. We practice our home escape plan. Kids are involved in, in, in doing that and put it together. And it really, it's really important to them too. So makes sense. Help us, help us help you and save a life. So good advice. Appreciate Thank it. you, Mike, man. I appreciate it. You guys take care. One of the most important things we can do in our home is have early warning devices that function correctly. Make sure you have working smoke alarms. Make sure you're checking them once a month, changing battery once a year, and that's even with the electric smoke alarms with the back battery backups. Besides testing and replacing batteries, know that smoke alarms have a lifespan of about eight to 10 years. After this time, it may not accurately detect smoke any longer, and the entire unit should be replaced. In Oklahoma, wind conditions can cause grass fires to become a very dangerous threat. The fire department advises homeowners to make sure grass is mowed and not allowed to grow up next to the home. Keep firewood away from the house and clean dead leaves from under porches and decks. For more valuable information on fire safety, just visit edmondfd.com.